office. Probably won't know till later, but uh, again, the Shelby County Arts Council is a 501c3 nonprofit arts organization. We do a lot of things that you can see, like these great shows. We also do a lot of things you can't see, like the program that ends the Juvenile Detention Center with arts and music therapy. We also have a creative writing program that teaches seventh grade at-risk kids how to write poetry. Imagine that. Kind of a cathartic experience. They produce a, a bound anthology after a 10-week session with a teaching poet, and they do that at no expense to the student or the school. That's some of the things we do that are not so easy to see. So find out more under the outreach icon at the ShelbyCountyArtsCouncil.com website. Make sure to connect with us on social media. That's the most cost-efficient way we can communicate with you. Uh, tonight, we got a great listening show, as you know. Want to hear all the conversation. So if you haven't already silenced your cell phones, please do that. And uh, also, I'll remind you that if you will subscribe to our YouTube channel, this very show will be on that channel, so it, uh, you'll be able to see it. It's being mixed tonight by Video Visions Media and Marketing, and the show is being expertly mixed audio-wise by George Dudley and Billy Althorn from Paul's Camp over there. Yeah. Also, uh, just like in the movies, respect the people in front of you. If it's a soft song, please don't talk during the song, you know, and ruin somebody else's audio experience. So that, uh, if you don't mind, it'd be awesome. But uh, just to make, you know, I, you know it's so pleasing to have to make that announcement that we have enough people in here to make that announcement to it's just kind of kind of nice i feel feels good i feel like a lot of good human energy in here and i missed you guys and hope you missed me but uh if you didn't then maybe you'll maybe you'll grow to like us but uh again tomorrow tomorrow uh tomorrow is big allen the heavyweights we got the eric essex band coming up act of congress coming up bobby rush coming up uh so check us out at shelbycountyartscouncil.com also check out the uh the great art and music lessons and, and all that sort of thing that you can find out at the website or ask at the front. All, all the art in the uh, gallery tonight, by the way, is produced by Shelby County Arts Council member artists. So thank you. For, I saw some people purchasing some stuff, so thank you for supporting the arts. So anyway, one thing we like to support is the art of singer-songwriters, right? And there's some apex predators in that category, you know? A good singer-songwriter can make you think about things you don't want to think about. A good singer-songwriter can make you think about things you hadn't thought about in a while. A good singer-songwriter can make you laugh. A good singer-songwriter can make you cry. A good singer-songwriter can make you feel embarrassed. And a really good singer-songwriter can make you feel all that in one song. And that would be Paul Thorne. Y'all welcome to the stage. How's everybody doing tonight? Somebody said they're glad to see me. I'm glad to see you too. You know, I, ain't, I can't see you, but I, I bet when I do, I'll be glad. I'm going to sing some songs I made up. Whenever they turn my guitar on. Starting on 
Thank you. Thank you. How's everybody doing? I've been missing y'all. I've been missing seeing people. It's, it's been a tough time this last uh, through the pandemic. Uh, a lot of people's drinking has accelerated during the pandemic. <laughs> Have y'all been drinking more? Raise your hand. Yeah, it's just you know it's a way we cope with things, you know. Uh, my favorite drink uh, is tequila. That's, that's what I do. And, uh, and, and alcohol does not uh, make you something you are not. It just brings out who you are. <laughs> my doctor told me to dry out. Brought me through living hell. When your memory comes calling, and I feel the teardrop start, I found tequila is good for the heart. We've all got to die of something. You say. 
sad, but it's true. At least if I drown your memory, I might not die over you. Well, there is no surefire remedy, but when love tears you apart, Talk to the Lord. I asked him to help me get over you. And then I drove to the liquor store. I cried out, Father, forgive me. But when prayer only takes you so far, I found tequila. Is good for the Hey, uh, before I go any further, how about another big hand for Stephen McCullough that played before me? You did a great job, Steve. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw this spiritual guru on YouTube. I accidentally just stumbled upon him. His name was Bratso. Have y'all heard of him? B-R-A-C-O. Look him up. He's a, a spiritual leader of some sort. And what he does is uh, all these people pay like $10 a head to come in and get blessed. And, uh, and so they all come in and they stand and they look at the stage and Bratso, he comes out and he, he's got long hair, like kind of, he kind of looks like Fabio except with a chubby face. <laughs> and uh, and he, he comes out there and he, and he just, he walks out and he's, there's no microphone, there's nothing. He just stands there and for 10 minutes, solid, a solid 10 minutes, he just does this. And people are going, I mean, there's people out in the crowd, and they're just, it looks like they're seeing God, and they're just, I'm serious, look at this guy, and they're like, they got tears running down their faces, and it's, it's just an incredible thing to see, and these, he just sells out everywhere he goes, and, uh, you know, that sounds silly to me, you know, but, but it's not silly to them, I realize, those people out in the crowd, they're actually getting something from this, and, and that's good, you know, some folks uh, believe different things. And that's all right. You can believe whatever you want to believe, but when you believe in something, be humble and recognize that you might be wrong. <laughs> Remember you might be wrong. 
cut me off, don't say we're through Just because I don't agree with you You see, flowers grow where seeds of love are sown You could be right, you might be wrong Why don't we argue, why don't we fight Everybody thinks God's on their side Just count to ten before you throw What's on the other side of life? I won't know until the day I die. If you feel insecure, you are not alone. Cause everybody knows you might be wrong. Why don't we argue? Why don't we fight? Everybody thinks God's on their side. Just count to ten before you throw a stone. My sister Deborah, God bless her, she passed away a little over a year ago, and uh, I miss her. Uh, she was a, a night owl. She was the only member of my family that I could call any hour of the night, and she would be there, and she'd be awake. And uh, after shows, sometimes when I was just kind of trying to calm down after a show, I would call her, and we'd have nice conversations. And, and uh, sometimes, almost every time we'd get off the phone, she would always say, Remember, I love you, and it's never too late to call, which became the song I'm about to sing. And uh, it's the title cut off my new record that's coming out in August. <laughs> intoxicated to forget about what's wrong if you feel like a sparrow who has fallen you are not alone when you're wearing concrete shoes at the bottom of a lake and it feels like your heart can't take another break just remember that I love you and it's never too late to call You say you have parts that are broken from your heart down to your soul
That's for my sister. Yeah. Uh, how many of y'all remember my song about the, 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 the Jehovah Witness stripper? I, well, I wrote this song a long time ago, and it's a, well, wow. It's like, uh, look at these beautiful people. Anyway, that's, that's really nice. Turn it back down. Thank you. But anyway, yeah, my friend, she was from a Jehovah Witness family, and years ago, she used, in another life, in another season of life, she was a stripper. And she made, she, uh, and anyway, she, the reason she started stripping is when she left home at the convenience store, she couldn't pay her bills with just working at the convenience store, but she could make a lot of money dancing, uh, dancing topless in Memphis, in Memphis, Tennessee. But anyway, I saw her the other day. It's like, and that is, she ain't that person no more. She just, a regular person who's like me or you, and uh, and she, uh, but, but I want to tell her story about her past. It's really cool. Listen to this. She drives a new car, wears expensive blouses. She tells her mama she's cleaning houses. She goes out witnessing, doing the Lord's work all week. But on the weekend, she's making ends meet. Joan is a Jehovah Witness stripper. Put a dollar in her G-string and she'll deliver if her His daughter dancing She wore a blonde wig He had sunglasses When she got naked He started clapping For John and a Jehovah Witness stripper Put a dollar in a G-string And she'll deliver If her daddy only knew He probably I'm counting my blessings every night when I get paid. She once lived in poverty and now everything's all right. The Lord showed her how to make a thousand dollars a night. Don't it, the Jehovah Witness stripper, put a dollar in her G string and she'll deliver if her daddy only knew. Driving home from the Birmingham airport not too long ago, late at night, wanting to get home, been out on a tour, and I was letting Siri tell me which way is to turn, you know? Because I can't, not I get completely lost without her. God bless her. And I'd like to meet her someday. But anyway, uh, she told me to get on the interstate and go for 72 miles straight ahead. So I got on the interstate and I went that way. And I'm just driving along, having a great ride, and just reminiscing about life, and just tired, you know. And, and uh, all of a sudden, a car was in my lane, and it was coming straight at me. I said, this somebody's drunk. So <laughs> I swerved and got out of the way, and just barely came out alive. And then right after that, another car <laughs> was in my lane. And I dodged that one too. I said, this is, a, this is a real weird fluke. And then car number three 
was in my lane and I realized that I was on the wrong side of the interstate <laughs> at midnight. And so, Siri makes mistakes, y'all. But I'm thankful I'm, you know, I could have hit somebody head on and I'm thankful I'm alive. Are you al I'm thankful to be alive tonight? Yeah. Yeah. My next door neighbor Joe was out in his yard. He walked out by the mailbox and got hit by a car. I saw it from my front porch while drinking sweet tea. Yeah, I guess I was lucky it could have been me. I'm still here. I made it through another day. I'm still here. There's more than some can say. When I feel down. I don't shed a tear I say glory, hallelujah Thank you Jesus, praise the Lord I'm still here This next verse is truth It's about me When I was 12 years old I fell to 6th grade I sat by myself On the school bus every day Big bullies beat me up, little girls turned me down. But those trials and tribulations made me who I am now. I'm still here. I made it through another day. I'm still here. There's more than some can say. When I feel down, I don't shed a tear. I say, glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, praise the Lord. I'm still here. All the time is undefeated Someday he's gonna get us all He knows my name And he's got my number But until I get that call I'm still here I made it through another day I'm still here There's more than some can say But when I feel down Shed a tear. I said, Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'm still here. Paul Thorne show. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, nah, I'll get around to that. I really will. But I like to go to yard sales. And I went to a yard sale not too long ago. And, uh, and I was looking around, and I heard a voice behind me say, Paul Wayne. And that's what people that really know me call me Paul Wayne. And that's my middle name, and it's just the way it is. And, and uh but anyway, it was, I, I turned around, and it was my first grade elementary teacher. I remembered her, and she remembered me. Her name was Miss Howard. And uh, I said, oh, Miss Howard, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? She said, I'm good. She said, she said, Paul Wayne, she said, I remember when you was in school, you used to bring your ventriloquist doll to school, <laughs> and you would do shows in front of the class. And you were just so, such an entertainer, she said. And, and you know, I walked up to her and I gave her a big old hug. I said, you know what, Miss Howard? I said, I, I, you know, back in them days when people was picking on me because I was different and weird, I said, you always pumped me up and made me feel good. And I said, I just want to give you a hug and a kiss on the cheek. And I did. And where I live, that's called giving somebody a rose. It's not a real actual rose. It's just it, when you get a chance to, to tell somebody how much you appreciate them, give them a rose every now and then. <laughs> On the front porch hangs a banner And a thousand red balloons Today the old man is retiring And the party starts at noon They're gonna have a celebration He worked so hard for all those years You got to give them their There's a young girl on the 
corner She sells her body for a price She's got a family back in Texas That don't know where she is tonight They never showed how much they loved her So she ran away in tears You got to give them the roses We're not promised tomorrow So tell the ones you love today Just how much you really need them Before you know it is too late You've got to give them the roses while Gather round a marble tombstone With regret in their eyes They all flew in from different places They never got to say goodbye As they walked by and dropped a flower The wind whispered in their ear You got to give them the room We're not promised tomorrow So tell the ones you love today Just how much you really need them Before you know it is too late You got to give them the roses while they're here James Brown on YouTube the other night, the great soul singer. And uh, the first thing, when you pull in his name up, the first thing that came up was uh, it said, the, uh, James Brown high on PCP. <laughs> so that was what I looked at. And, uh, and what it was, it was, it was back in the day when he had just gotten out of prison and, uh, for uh, assaulting his wife, and he was out and he was going to try to make a change and he was getting ready to change his life for the better and go to uh they was going to go to sao paulo brazil sao paulo brazil to to do, do a tour over there and start fresh you know and he was being interviewed by this local news lady real straight laced lady and she goes james uh, how do you feel now that you've gotten out and he goes i feel good because <laughs> he was high i mean he's like he was, he was clenching his teeth he was so high on something but anyway and he goes, I feel good, I look good, I smell good. And he, and he leaned in and he goes, and I make love good. It was like really creepy kind of, you know. But anyway, but I just took everything he said and made a song out of it. It's called Sapalo. We got in some trouble, we did a Time. It's good to be free, but we don't have a dime Ain't no time to sit around feeling insecure The band's back together, we're going on a tour We're looking good, we're feeling good We're living good, it's all good Jam
took a bunch of pictures we wished each other well as we drove away i heard somebody yell we're looking good That's on my new record coming out in August as well. Hey, you know what? I caught the COVID. Did any of y'all catch it? I had the COVID. It, it knocked me out for like two weeks. I was just laying in the bed, and it, it took. It was. It was rough. It really was. And uh, and so when I was in quarantine, I had I stayed in our upstairs bedroom, and so my wife had to wait on me, kind of like hand and foot, and uh, that can wear on a person, you know, <laughs> after a while. But anyway. It, it, she was making some lunch for me. I wanted a, a, I wanted a, a, a bologna sandwich on, on white bread with Miracle Whip and a piece of cheese. That's what I wanted. And she said, what can, what's that? I didn't want the edges cut off. I ain't, I ain't that high maintenance. Yeah, I'm very low maintenance. And then she said, and she said Paul, what kind of chips would you like? And I thought about that big old bag of chips we had. It's, it's a big giant bag, but it's got little tiny bags in it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's them kind of bags that it takes two bags to make one. <laughs> so I said, bring me a, a, a couple sacks of those onion, uh, Funyuns. I said, I'd like to have some Funyuns with my sandwich. And so she, she trudged up the stairs and brought my plate and set it by the door. And, and I went and got it. And she made a small mistake. She didn't get me the Funyuns. She got me the sweet chili Doritos. And then a big fight broke out over, the, over the, 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 the wrong, how wrong she was and how bad she was treating me. And, uh, but we, you know. <laughs> What's happening? My guitar, didn't, there it is. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. My family reunion is going on today. My relatives have all flown in from places far away. As we sit there eating chicken, it hits me like a truck. I don't like half the folks I love. Me and my former best friend had a big falling out. I caught him with my wife, so I punched him in the mouth. We just can't hang out anymore, but I still wish them luck. I don't like half the folks I love. God knows they're all dear to me, but if the truth be told, I like it when they come, but I love it when they go. I'm sure they've got good qualities. But the bad ones cover them up I don't like half the folks I love I'm going to sing this next verse for all you people tonight My alcoholic buddies are fun to hang around When we drink together, peace and joy abound But sometimes they bring me one more shot When they know I've had enough Sing it the folks I love God knows they're all dear to me but if the truth be told I like it when they come but I love it when they go I'm sure they've got good qualities but the bad ones cover them up help me I don't like half the folks I love in this world we live in this I guarantee we all need more tolerance to get along peacefully But I'm not as nice as Jesus And I really am fed up You sing it God knows they're all dear 
to me, but if the truth be told, I like it when they come, but I love it when they go. I'm sure they've got good qualities, but the bad ones cover them up. I don't like half the folks I love. say I love you too many times. <laughs> it gets on my nerves when people say they love me all the time. It's just say, see? It's just, you know, it's a good thing. It is good to tell somebody you love them, but it's better to show it. You know what I mean? It really is. Don't take your mate for granted. That's what this song's about. TV back in grammar school I was watching Neil Armstrong walking on the moon That same day I pretended I was an astronaut on the playground monkey bars I flew above the stars I was in a Dallas disco the night John Lennon died the DJ played Imagine and everybody cried. I remember a thousand lighters held up in our hands. All we were saying was let's give peace a chance. Where was I when you stopped loving me? When Many things that escape my memory Tell me where was I When you stopped loving me Every 20,000 years That comet lights up the night on a blanket we watched it sail across the sky A moment like that comes just once in life We made love for the first time at 11.35 Where was I when you stopped loving me? Escape my memory. Tell me where was I when you stopped loving me? I remember when I met you, the taste of our first kiss. I remember your goodbye. Could you tell me this? Where Stop loving me When did I Become history There's not Many things That escape my memory Tell me where Was I When you stopped Loving me Where was I When you stopped Excuse me, ma'am, in the chair there, uh, the scooter chair. Uh, 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 is your mom and daddy still alive? Okay. Well, when your mama was alive, did she cook things that you like? What was your favorite thing that she cooked for you? What was it? 
But was there one little thing that you said, boy, I wish I could have some of that right now, what would it be? A roast beef? That's good. All right. Okay. Collard greens. A girl over here got some collard greens. Well, you know, that leads me into saying this. Uh, my favorite thing that my mama makes is turnip greens, which are similar to collard greens. I don't know the difference. What is the difference between a collard green and a turnip green? It's the same? Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to sing a song about my mama's specialty, turnip greens. Well, I went to see my mama this evening, and she was cooking a ton of greens. To see my mama this evening, and she was cooking a ton of grains. She had some hot buttered cornbread, and I washed it down with a glass of iced tea. She had some butter beans, and some good old black eyed peas. garden except for the macaroni and cheese <laughs> now when I got ready to leave she put some greens in a cool whip bowl <laughs> yeah when I got ready to leave she put some greens in a cool whip bowl cause she knew I wouldn't bring her Tupperware back <laughs> She said, now baby, here's some you can take with you, darling. You can heat them up and eat them when you get home. We got a little something going on here, Billy. called feedback. I'll sing another song if this guitar ain't gonna work. You think I should just go do a different, different song? Hold on. Okay. Are you getting it? Can y'all hear that? Okay. I tell you what. I think that got it. You know, I got, you know, nothing in life is perfect. There'll always be somebody in front of you that you wish you could get where they're at. But I'll keep in mind, there's also somebody behind you wishing they could be where you're at. So I, I'm, I have joy in my life, and I'm thankful. Here's a song that's on the new record called Two Tears of Joy. Sometimes when it feels like the weight of the world is sitting on top of my back, I like to go fishing if I don't catch nothing, well, I'm okay with that. I sit on a bank with some sweet tea to drink and I breathe in the morning air. When I look at the sky and the clouds rolling by, I believe there's a God somewhere. I don't have everything, but what do I really? been such a lucky boy I'm crying to tears of joy Anybody who knows will tell you it ain't 
So many times I've needed forgiveness from friends and family. They cut a lot of slack, they've taken me back over and over again. The mercy they've shown has made me want to be a better man. I don't have everything, but what do I really need? I've been such a lucky boy, I'm crying to tears of joy. Now that I look back on a million memories When it comes to things that matter There's no one richer than me I don't have everything But what do I really need? I've been such a lucky boy I'm crying to tears Joy. Uh, that was a that was a lady that went to our church when I was growing up, Sister Pam. She was a nice lady, really nice, and her she had a talent. She could crochet really well, and. Uh, she would uh, crochet like, uh, she made me a toboggan when I was a little boy, crocheted me a toboggan and, and t made blankets and afghans and really nice things. But uh, she got acquainted with some of the men in, men in the church and if she liked you and you was a man, uh, she would crochet you, I don't really know in a delicate way to say this other than to say she would crochet you a cock sock. <laughs> it was something you could, uh, it was something you could put your pickle in to keep it warm. And uh, it had a little compartment down the bottom where you could put your Skittles in there. And uh, it was a really nice gift. You know, she would give them to people. And, uh, and it, was, I, it, always, it always puzzled me. She always got the size right. It's almost like something was going on in the church that people weren't talking about from the pulpit. But anyway, and I, for a long time, I thought I imagined this. I really did. I asked my mom the other day, I said, Mama, do you remember Sister Pam? And she goes, yeah, I remember. And I said, I said uh, my dad being a preacher, I said, uh, did she ever give Daddy one? <coughs> and she said, absolutely not. But I, I remember, I, I didn't want to hurt my mama's feelings, but I saw Sister Pam hand my daddy one of them things. <laughs> and he just, he looked at it and he grinned and he stuck it in his pocket. <laughs> Next time I see him, I'm going to ask him if he still got it and will let me have it. <laughs> I want to hang it from the ceiling in my man cave. Anyway. That's a great story, isn't it? <laughs> On a hot Sunday evening, I was driving in the country when I felt my left front tire blow. In the trunk I had a spare, but the jack wasn't there On a desolate gravel road Right across the street was a tin roof shack And a girl shelling peas on the porch When she ran out to meet me in a white cotton dress All I could say was, praise the Lord Yeah, I was a long way from two below My mama's not home and we don't have a phone But if there's anything I can do I'd be happy to pour you some cold iced tea because 
Cause I think you're kind of cute We went inside, sat down on the couch And that girl started eyeballing me And just like Adam in the Garden of Eden She showed me that apple And that guy weak I was a long way from two below A long way from two below Standing in a place nobody knows and was a long way from to below. Well, her mother showed her, saw me in there. She said, What in the world's going on? She answered, Mama, don't worry, he's a real nice man who's broke down and ain't got a way home. Yeah, they Gave me a ride. I gave him twenty dollars for the trouble and a tank of gas. It was a day I'll always remember. But if my wife ever asks, I'll say I was a long way from two below. A long way from two below. Yeah, I was standing in a place nobody knows. I was a long somebody request 800 pound Jesus uh, that's a true song it's about a statue in my dad's yard that weighs 800 pounds it's a concrete statue and uh, recently uh, my, you know my dad's getting older and he's starting to give me things and he gave me that thing not too long ago and he said I could take it and put it in my yard which I was so happy to be able to do and uh, I brought it I brought Jesus home and I painted him and, uh, and I liked the way he looked so much that I didn't put him out in the yard. I put him inside the house. <laughs> and he's standing there. At Christmas time, we put a Christmas hat on him. At Halloween, we put a Hulk Hogan mask on his face. We have fun with me and Jesus. I saw a garage sale pulled up in the yard Found a statue of Jesus that was eight feet tall He held out his arms and he seemed all alone So I loaded him up and I drove him home Out by my driveway he looks down the street Long hair and sandals made of rebar and concrete I painted him white with a long purple robe He's the rock of ages on a gravel road. He's an 800 pound Jesus standing taller than a tree. He's an 800 pound Jesus, a bigger man than you or me. I thought losing my job was the end of the world Till my best pal ran off with my best girl I felt suicidal with no real friends So I walked outside with a rope in my hand Out by that statue there's a big oak tree So I stood on his shoulders and I counted to three I had every intention of mine the farm but when I jumped off, he caught me in his arms. He's an 800 pound Jesus, standing taller than a tree. He's an 800 pound Jesus, a bigger man than you or me. I wanted to return the favor to him Cause I've never had a more solid friend So I planted some flowers all around his feet And I bought him a flock of ceramic sheep He's an 800 pound Jesus Standing taller than a tree He's an 800 pound Jesus A bigger man
see. This is a this gentleman though with the phone. Is, is, is this you? Your wife sitting by you? How many years y'all been married? Have y'all ever had an argument? Have y'all ever had an argument? Have you ever had moments where you felt like you need to take a break? Maybe go take a drive or just calm down and you know go go take a walk to cool down. It's, that's part of it. You have to do that sometimes. And, uh, that's what this next song uh, is about. It's about the you you have arguments and stuff and falling out with with your mate. But if you love them, you'll come back and love will bring you back. And so I wrote this song and uh, uh, I was singing it when I was working on it in my living room. And uh, my wife started singing it with me cause, and she kept hearing it all the time. So she started singing harmony with me. And so this is a song that's on my new record too. And on the record, uh, my wife's singing this song with me. It's, it's really beautiful. She adds a lot to it. But uh, this is a song I think we can all relate to. I quit drinking about 80 something days ago. And I feel a lot better. And I, I ain't got nothing against drinking. If you, you know, if you do it in moderation, it's, it, it, it's fine. But it snuck up on me. And it, it snuck up on a lot of us, you know, especially during the pandemic. But uh, 
Uh, I, like I said, tequila is, is what I like, but one thing I really like even more than that is uh, apple pie moonshine. And I like, I like it because it doesn't taste like you're drinking alcohol. It's just like a fruity drink, and you just, that's, that's, the most, that's the most dangerous kind. But anyway, uh, I wrote this song about that struggle I was having. Oh, my guitar's out too, hold Got to get it right. Y'all having a good time tonight? I'm having a good time too. Okay, I think I got it right. This song's called Apple Pie Moonshine. Okay, all right. Okay. This lady requested one. I think it's a. I could do that. Yeah. I'm gonna do uh, two requests in a row. All right. Uh, huh? Uh, really? I rarely sing that one it's because it's so sad. Okay. You think it is? Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'll do three requests. Then. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was the first one? Backslide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one's called Backslide on Friday. You know, it's hard to do the right thing, ain't it? Deep down I want to be a good man 
Anybody in your life that you found out after spending some time with them that they was toxic? <laughs> some people, you want to be their friend, but you can't be their friend because they're not friendship material. They got they, something ain't working inside their heart. They just thought they're just bad. Now, I wrote a song about a, few, a couple people in my life that I had to say goodbye to, and I feel better now that they're not in my life. So maybe you have a toxic person in your life and it's time for you to tell them to go away. <laughs> There's a young man uh, with the headphones on. So I can't remember your name. What's your name, buddy? Dakota. 
Dakota. Dakota, he's a nice young man. Uh, he told me that his daddy uh, was a big fan of mine, and his daddy couldn't make it to the show tonight. But uh, I'm gonna sing this song for 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 his daddy, and I'm gonna sing it for Dakota too. Uh, this is a song that uh, uh, I've been singing uh, for a long time. Uh, I'm sick of it. <laughs> but people like it. Have you ever had one of those days when nothing goes right? Your wife starts bitching about whatever it was she was bitching about last night. So you escape into the bathroom just to sit there on your throne. But after you finish your business, the toilet paper's gone. Well, it's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. It's a bad day, so you better get off of my back. You might get cold cocked. If you cross my path Cause it's a great day For me to whoop somebody's ass Well I was running late for work So I poured me some coffee to go And just before I had a flat tire I spilled it all over my clothes When the highway patrolman pulled up I thought the help was on the way. But when he saw that tire tool in my hand, he shot me with pepper spray. It's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. It's a bad day, so you better get off of my back. You might get cold or cocked if you cross my path. Last verse that goes out to everybody that don't like their boss at work. <laughs> when I finally made it to work, I was 15 minutes late. I told my boss about the flat tire, but he fired me anyway. So here I am in the parking lot, just waiting by his Corvette. I'm gonna give him a goodbye present that he never will forget. It's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. It's a bad day, so you better get off of my back. You might get cold cocked if you cross my path. Cause it's a great day. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Come down and sing without any microphone.
Thank you, everybody.